Hi Tech Enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving deep into the world of 10G fiber networking for data center, focusing on syncing service and disaster recovery. So stick around if you're looking to boost your data center speed, reliability, and efficiency. And we are offering free tech consultation for all of our viewers. Whether you want to upgrade your data center's network or tackle a tech project, but don't know where to start, we're here to help. We're providing personalized advice and solution tailored to your specific need. So just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So why is 10G fiber so essential for data centers? In a data center, where thousands of servers work together to handle everything, from cloud computing to streaming services, high-speed networking ensures minimal latency, maximize throughput, and support seamless data synchronization and access. And this is particularly crucial for syncing servers and disaster recovery, where speed and reliability are paramount. And a 10G fiber networking stands out as a pivotal technology due to its ability to transmit data at 10 gigabit per second. And this speed significantly outperforms traditional gigabit Ethernet, which is limited to 1 gigabit per second and even more advanced 2.5G or 5G Ethernet and the high bandwidth and low latency of 10G fiber are critical for maintaining up-to-date server synchronization, ensuring data integrity, enabling real-time backup and recovery processes. So now let's break down the key components you need for 10G fiber network setup in your data center. Here we have the router. This is the heart of your network, managing traffic and directing data flow. And also we are using two 24 port SFP switch. And we have one on each side. These switches are crucial for connecting multiple servers and devices. They offer high port density and an advanced feature to manage network traffic effectively. This has 24 1000 m SFP fiber slot, 4 10G SFP fiber slot, and also 8 RJ45 Ethernet combo port, which is a nice choice to use at a central point, such as a data center or a monitoring room. And the Layer 2 Plus Managed Switch has powerful traffic management and QoS features, over MAC address filtering, and also VLAN capability, so you can segregate network and remote access to port. And also, we'll need the BD SFP Plus module. Now, this module is enabled bidirectional communication over a single fiber string, simplifying cabling and reducing costs. And by using our pre-made single-mode LC connector fiber optic cables, now you can ensure high-quality connection and minimizing installation errors. So let's connect everything together. First, we have the router connecting to the internet, and then we're going to use an ethernet cable to connect it with our fiber managed switch. Here's our 10G SFP Plus module inserted into our 10G fiber slot. And today we are using this full strain pre-made fiber optic cable so we don't need to worry about the connectors. Let's use string A for now. Plug it into our SFP module. In between, we have this 300 meters fiber optic cable. And we are going to do the same thing on this side. Insert our 10G SFP Plus module to our 10G SFP slot. And remember, we used string A. Let's plug it into our SFP Plus module. So now we have created a point-to-point -point 10G fiber optic network. But if 10G isn't enough for your data center, 
our switches can achieve 40G networking by combining the 410G port using LACP, or you can call it Link Aggregation Control Protocol. And LACP allows us to combine multiple physical link into a single logical link, providing load balancing and redundancy. And next, we are going to configure the LACP on our switches. So in order to form a 40G network, we have to plug in the rest of our fiber optic cable. So total, we have four strings fiber optic cable plug into four of our 10G SFP slots. So let me plug in all the SFP transceivers to port 25, 26, 27, and 28. Then I'm going to plug in the fiber optic cable to each SFP transceivers. So now total we have 40G created and coming over to the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing. And plug in our fiber optic cables. So now we have created 40G network between the switches. Then I'm going to connect the switch to our computer and log into the web interface to configure LACP. Now we are already on the switch web management and we are going to group the four ports together. Let's go under group configuration, name it group number one. So we have the group number now, it's number one. Let's add member. Remember 25 to 28 port are the 10 gigabit per second port. So let's add those four port together to form a group. And now we can have total 40 G. Here we go. We have all four ports in a one group. And let's go under the switch basic configuration here. And make sure you save the current running configuration. Click inside and hit the apply button. So now we have successfully saved the configuration. So advanced LACP features can further enhance performance and reliability. This includes dynamic link aggregation, which automatically adjusts the number of active links based on the traffic and failover protection, which maintain network stability if one link fails. So even though one of the fiber optic cable are broken, you still get 30G network. Now looking ahead, Fiber networking in data centers is evolving rapidly. Emerging technologies like 100G network are on the horizon, promising even greater speed and capability. So upgrading to these new standards will ensure your data center remains at the cutting edge of tech. Now that's it for today's deep dive into 10G fiber networking for data centers. Now if you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel Fast Cabling, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video.